Hello and welcome to this course on Hadoop Basics. My name is Sijesh and this video I will get you introduced Hadoop Distributed File System or HDFS. So HDFS is the file system which is used in Hadoop and it's a distributed file system and it's responsible for storing data on the cluster. So these data files are split into blocks or pieces and distributed across the nodes in the cluster. So if you have a data which is huge in size, so the framework or Hadoop distributed file system will split this data into smaller pieces and distribute these pieces across different host or different nodes in the cluster. And also these blocks or whatever the pieces so will be replicated multiple times. So this ensures availability and uh, so HDFS if you look into the uh, backend it's written in Java and uh, the core concept came from Google file system. So as I mentioned earlier videos so Google has published the white papers on its file system how the distributed file system works. So in open source Apache team has taken this and implemented in an open source way and that is HDFS. So it provides a redundant storage for huge amount of data. So as I said the pieces or blocks will be placed into multiple servers. So this ensures availability and also this Hadoop file system or HDFS works best for the small number of large files. And also this is used for files which are written once and read many times. And it's uh, optimized for streaming read of large data set. So how these files are stored? So if you look into HDFS, so whatever the data we store, basically the file which is huge in size that we are going to store into HDFS. So this file will be split into pieces called blocks so and these blocks are uh, stored into different machine so different blocks from the same uh, file will be stored on the different machine so this ensures availability and the blocks are replicated so this ensures the availability and uh, this is called a replication factor and again it's a configurable property and always there will be a master service so which is called a name node and which is track of uh, I mean taking care of uh, all these uh, blocks uh, information so where these blocks are stored so what are the blocks associated with this, this file etc so the name node is the master component which will control all these things now we will take this example so I have an input file so uh, which is huge in size and when we try to store this file into HDFS. So consider the file is split into five blocks. Okay. So by default, this block size is 128 MB size. And again, it's a configurable parameter. So you can increase or decrease this value. So in this example, so my input data is split into five blocks. And you can see how these blocks are placed into across different uh, worker host so this worker host are called data node and you can see these blocks so for example here i highlighted as a block 2 so block 2 is placed in node a node b and node d and other blocks also you can see so consider uh, an ex a scenario where one of the block uh, i mean the host is down so for example node b is down but still uh, we can reconstruct this input file or this framework or HDFS can retrieve this file by using the other host. So basically whatever the blocks we are storing will be split into different uh, host and uh, this ensures like even if couple of host goes down so we still have the data available and this is called replication factor again replication factor also configurable property that we can change and block size so which is the uh, minimum unit of file that hdfs split and again the block size is configurable 
the minimum block size is 128 MB so uh, let me summarize this thing like a Hadoop distributed file system is a distributed file system that use in Hadoop and which is making use of multiple server and again uh, we have one master component that we call name node and worker components called data node so actual blocks will be placed into this data nodes so if you are storing some huge sized file so that will be split into pieces and each piece is called block and by default it's 128 MB and that will be placed across different machine so this is how HDFS works at very high level thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video see you in the next video bye